I'm with Melanie Sims from The Lord's Child. Mel, tell us about The Lord's Child. So we started back in 2007 in a totally different location, but this location that we're at right now in South Knoxville, we started in 2015. It was a snowy day, a lot of the businesses were all closed, and Pastor Dave, one of our servants here, he felt that somebody was gonna need food that particular day. So against his wife's advice, he drove here from Sevierville and he sat here all day. And just as he was about to go home, a lady walked through the door in great need of food. And that was the first guest that we ever had. And it just kind of snowballed from there to what we have today. So how does the process work uh, as far as when can people come here? How do they get food? What can, get, what can they get? So we do drive through and it starts at 10 o'clock. People are lined up, Glenn at eight o'clock in the morning. The, the need is so great and they start lining up 7.30, 8 o'clock, we open at 10 and then we close somewhere between 12.30 and 12.45 and that's every Thursday, unless it's a holiday. How many folks generally come through on a Thursday? Oh, you know, originally we had that one and then that built to about 30, 50 families. But in the last two years, we have seen it grow exponentially. We now serve on average somewhere between 100 and 150 families a week. So it's, you know, what you go for shopping for when you go grocery shopping, that's what we give to our guests here. We want them to feel like they are part of our family. And so we're gonna give them whatever we have here. I've found that the people that we serve, our guests, they really are like family. They're like an extended family. They have been, I think people get a preconceived ideas about the people, I'll probably get upset, I'm sorry. People, people get preconceived ideas about the people that sit in these lines that, um, you know, maybe they did something to deserve that, but that is so far from the truth. These are just normal people like you and I that maybe did make a mistake, or maybe they made a bad decision, or maybe life just happened. And for whatever reason, they need help. And that's why I got involved, because, you know, there have been times in my life that I've needed help. You're located in uh, South Knox County but I'm sure that people come from miles around yes. to visit you, right? Yes, we have people that come now that didn't come a year ago, but we had people that came a year ago that don't need to come anymore. We had one lady, when she first started to come to the food pantry, she had lost her job, she'd lost her children by choices, but, but for whatever reason, she needed our help. The extra assistance that we gave her food-wise helped her budget. That allowed her to be able to get a place to live and then she could get a job. And then in just the space of 12 months, she actually had her children, she had custody back of her children. So it does make a difference in people's lives. From what I understand, you all also have a unique business model in that you sell merchandise, which helps raise funds for the food pantry. We have an online store and one of our large donors donated us half a kiosk in West Town Mall. So um, we were there Black Friday and it was wonderful. We sold so much merchandise, but more importantly, the merchandise that we sell, the proceeds go directly back into the ministry to help us do what we do. It's because we're really small. I mean, compared to like, you know, probably a ton of other nonprofits, we are really, really small, but we have a very large reach. And it's the mobile food pantries that really have given us that. So Mel, thank you for everything you do. And thank you for the work that the Lord's Child does. Thank you.